You know, we got to put some respect on this nurse's name, particularly this LPN's name. And it gives me great pride to say, uh, if you don't do nothing else, get paid. Young nurse, get paid. And that's exactly what this LPN did when she ran it up out there in Connecticut, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about it. But you can live pretty well by yourself. All right. So this article comes from uh, greenwichtime.com. But before we get into that, please make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe or follow button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about what we about to discuss right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the article reads, while one part-time nurse at Greenwich's Nathaniel with Thrill Nursing Home made $216,000 last year. It says that Nathaniel Withrell, the short-term disability care facility owned and operated by the town, is short on nursing staff. Now, from what I hear, Connecticut, Greenwich to be exact, the city in Connecticut is a very affluent part of the state. So a lot of people out there have that bag and they have it to spend and they're ready to spend. So if they hiring, a player might have to go put in his application. It says the need for staff at the facility, which has 202 beds, fluctuate as the number of patients change, officials said during recent budget meetings. Withrell leadership relied heavily on part-time workers last year, and some of them ended up working full-time hours for higher rates of pay. They negotiated their pay. They did what they were supposed to do. It says one part-time licensed practical nurse, Marie Joseph, made $216,827 last year according to the records provided by the Greenwich Human Resources Department. Lord have mercy, they just put all her business out there. Now, I don't even know why they decided to make this a, a news article, but it is what it is. You know, they always trying to figure out what what's popping over here in our part of the world, and you know, that's just what they do. It continues to say that as a part-time employee, Joseph's base pay was just 9,783, but she made 116,000 from overtime last year, plus an additional 90,000 in other earnings like stipends and out-of-class pay from the town in 2023. It says Joseph was the highest paid employee in the town last year, according to HR records, and she made more money than the chief of police the chief of the fire department and the head of Greenwich libraries and several other town departments. She even made more money than John uh, Mastronardi, the executive director of Withrell, who earned 191,000 last year, ladies and gentlemen. And so they have a list of all the people, like they have a list of all the earnings down here on one of the, on the page. And I'm not going to post that, but I think that's funny because they really, they pocket watching. They really are pocket watching. <clears throat> it says Brad Markowitz, chair of the board for Nathaniel Withrell, said he would not speak about Joseph's pay in particular, but the facility has been over-reliant on overtime in the recent past, meaning they got no staff and they have to do what they have to do in order to make things pop. They got the money. It is what it is. It says... While all will run nursing homes utilize some level of overtime in their nursing department along with part-time staff and access to per diem agency staff, the primary driver of overtime at Withrell has been open full-time positions. He, he wrote in a statement, Joseph was not alone among the Withrell part-timers that earned major overtime dollars in 2023. I might have to go get my license out there if they paying like that in Connecticut because that's some serious paper. And it's funny because when people making that serious bag, they get real quiet. You usually don't hear much about it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like an open secret almost. People get real quiet and they become real selective with who they gonna tell and how they gonna get it to go. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> it says four other members of the nursing staff have base pays, have base pay salaries under 10,000, ended up making a, at least 100,000 last year thanks to overtime pay. Overtime is where the money at. It's where the bag at. And let's just, and sure, this is not a regular thing. Of course not. But a lot of, a, a lot of people that's in that nursing home making that kind of bag, 
they making more than NPs, some NPs, and wow. What a time to be a nurse. It says 10 with Rhythm employees made at least 150,000 last year, and seven of them were nurses, most of whom were full-time staff nurses. Let me tell you something. This might be worth traveling to Connecticut too. I might do, I might have to get a phone call popping up, popping off with a, with, with Thrill. <clears throat> Just know that a lot of nurses finna be blowing them up trying to get some of their cash. They gonna be full, they gonna be fully staffed in a minute. It says coming out of the pandemic, it has been particularly hard to recruit permanent full-time nursing staff to fill all of the approved positions. Mark West said in a statement, the team at With Thrill is working to devise creative solutions to, to this challenge and will collaborate with the town HR department to improve our ability to have op optimal staff maxing. Well, I mean, you know what to do. <laughs> Trust me, if the people keep making a bag like that, you ain't gonna have to worry about having no staff. But I wonder, I do wonder by them paying their own staff, cause she was staffed there, that overtime, are they saving money by having by not relying on travel nurses. That's something to, to think about. It says the Withrail is implementing uh, a newer staffing model in the wake of the multi-million dollar accounting issue that, come to, that came to light last year. The Withrail hired an accounting firm to help redo their financials and the firm recommended that Withrail deploy a staffing matrix, which is typical for nursing home facilities. The Withrill is unique in Connecticut because it's owned and operated by a town, whereas most nursing homes are owned and op are owned by private companies or nonprofit organizations. Merkwitz said in general, the facility uses a mix of labor options to staff each day. This mix includes full-time nurses, part-time nurses, some people working overtime and agency staff. Quote, no question that we have people who are doing a lot of overtime. And that's just, and that's, <clears throat> it says no question. <clears throat> it says quote no question that we have people who are doing a lot of overtime, and that's not just a financial issue; it's a quality issue, and all that needs to be looked at and understood and managed. He said during the February 14th uh, BET Human Resources Committee meeting, "It's an ongoing process. This is not going to change overnight." In other words. <laughs> uh, we still short staff people getting taken care of a lot of people with a lot of money that's investing in them and we're going to keep it going Mary Peep director of the town's human resources department said that during the BET meeting that response time to applications is not a fair issue to raise since her department receives so few applications well that's probably going to change real soon but maybe not because a lot of people just simply don't want to work it said there were three nursing positions open at the Withrail as of March 1st, as well as an opening for a part-time assistant director of nursing. The BET Human Resources Committee ultimately approved the Withrail's current staffing model for the coming fiscal year, meaning that if you're ready to go get a bag for at least the next fiscal year, go ahead and do your thing. But the finance board said it expects to have a higher level discussion about the future of the facility later this year. With their leadership told BET on February 14th that they believe expanding into more complex medical care will help them survive and thrive in the future. But the BET wants a more detailed report about their vision. With their staff is expected to return a report to return a report to the BET in the summer, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was wonderful to read um lp is still getting that bag man even even if you didn't think they were they are i've posted stuff this new article now they might try to stop her bag since it, she's become popular a little popular for making the kind of paper she's making but it is what it is man you gonna have to do what you have to do you're gonna pay one way or another that's a very and see this is why i say follow the money Cause when you follow the money, when you follow the money, even though they may not like to pay the overtime, they're gonna pay it because they have a certain quality of care to keep up. They know the more money they offer, the more willing 
nurses and other people are to come in and do what they're supposed to do so they can keep their ratings high, so they can keep people coming in and out those facilities. So when people trying to figure out where they want to take their loved ones to, they can say, oh, with thrill, them nurses over there, happy, they're making money. So that's just something to think about. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, let's, let's have this conversation. So if you don't do nothing else, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, get paid. Young nurse, get paid. I'm going to you. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.